This video is presented to you by Physics for Students. Okay, so we are back again with a, a new video on double and triple summation. I think uh, one of the subscribers actually requested to make a video. So uh, I'm so sorry that I could not remember your name. Uh, I think somebody called uh, some Moitra or somebody who told me to make the video, but not an issue. I am very happy that I can uh, fulfill your request. So this is a video in which we will be talking about how to make a double and a triple summation using the uh, Greek uh, operator sigma. And we are going to look forward also with some examples on double and triple summation. So we will start first with certain steps that we need to follow. So uh, just an initial, uh, you know, uh, look forward with what are the steps that we need to find out in order to do this kind of a summation. So in case that you get a summation like this, okay, so one, two, three, four, I have used deliberately a big uh, uh, kind of a uh, big uh, equation where there are six sigmas followed by certain uh, absurd uh, variables, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So whatever be it, like if you get a kind of a, this kind of a uh, operation where you have got a lot of sigmas. So the first thing that you have to understand is that you need to start with the extreme right hand side of the sigma and then we can slowly go back 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 until you meet to the left so what i'm talking is this so you can see on the uh, right hand side of the screen i have marked it in blue circle uh, sorry red circle so uh, this is one so we are co going to compute with first with f equals to 14 to whatever be the value then we are going to take this that is e equals to 5 to whatever value then we are going to take this this is d then we are to take this, this is C, then we are going to take this, this is B, and we are going to take this as A. So we will start with the extreme innermost sum. This is the technical way of talking that we call it as the innermost sum. And then we go back, back, back to the extreme left until we are exhausted with the all the sigmas and the operation. So what we are trailing is this. So we are starting with the right hand side and we are going to the left hand side. So I have shown this in the green arrow. So in this way we are going to do that. The second step that we need to learn is that for example as you have understood that we are first going to take in this part f equals to 14 to whatever be the expression. So whatever be it then we are opening up this uh, type of an expression the extreme right hand side innermost sum that means we are going to write the rest of the left hand side of the outermost sum as it is. So sigma equals to a b c d and e until we compute f. Right? So this purple arrow shows that f equals to 14 when we are taking this part we are writing a, b, c, d, e as it is. No change. Then we are going to take say for example we are done with f so we will compute e. So when we are compute e we will take a, b, c and d as it is. So here it is. This purple arrow shows that we are computing with the value of e equals to 5 this sigma we are keeping a, b, c, d as constant. Then we are going to take A, B and C and D. So once we are uh, operating or doing the operation with the sigma D, we are going to take A, B and C as it is. So this arrow shows that we are actually uh, making the equation or solving out D equals to one sigma operator and we are keeping A, B, C and C constant and in this way we can further go. So uh, there are simple two steps. First is that we are going to take the right hand side, the innermost sigma, and then we are going to go left, 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 left. And once we do that, whatever the uh, innermost part that we are operating, we are uh, we are equating. We will keep A, B, C, and D, and E is constant. Then A, B, C, and D, and then A, B, C, then A, B, and A. So this is these are the steps that we have to keep it in mind, and these are the ways in which we are we are going to follow. So this is a nice way in uh, doing this. So now let us look forward with certain uh, quick examples. So we get an operator uh, a problem like this. <coughs> J equals to 1 to 4, K equals to 1 to 5, K plus J, right? So as I have mentioned earlier, we are going to, <coughs> sorry, we are going to take forward K equals to 1 to 5. That is the enormous sum. So you see what we will do is that we will write E equals to J equals to 1 to 4, sigma J equals to 1 to 4 as it is and we will just uh, do with J. So we are, uh, we are changing the value of K equals to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 because K equals to 1 to 5. 
and then we get something like this so we have got 5 j so 5 j plus uh, 5 plus 4 9 12 14 15 so this is quite clear now once we have got this value 15 plus 5 j we are going to solve this one which is marked right in th at the middle of your screen with the uh, red box so we are going with this so let us see how we do this so here you see I have kept 15 plus 5 as constant and I have varied g equals to 1 2 1 2 3 4 so this goes like 1 then 2 then 3 and then 4 so these four blue arrows actually shows how we have incremented the value of j and we have kept the expression 5, 15 plus 5 as constant so by solving this we get 110 right so this is the first example i think it is quite clear we are taking the expression sigma k varies from 1 to 5 then we solve this we get a value 15 plus 5 j 15 keeping 15 plus 5 constant we are changing the value of j the value of j varies from 1 to 4 let us look into certain other examples so here we have got another example j equals to 1 to 5 i equals to 1 to 5 2 i j and as we have learned we are going to take this equation first that is i equals to 1 to 5 so what we do we have kept this one so we know that the value of i is varying from 1 2 3 4 and 5 so i have shown like this 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then 5 so this down arrow in black shows how we have uh, changed the value of i so we have kept the outside sigma j equals to 1 to 5 as constant solving this we get so how much is this one two three four yeah so we get uh, 30j right eight six five yeah so this nice so this is 30j now we are going to take for with 30j uh, we can write it this way this entire equation sigma j equals to one to five sigma i equals to one to five two i j equals to 30j right and we have we will now use 30j right yeah this blue arrow shows this now we will use this 30j and we are trying to solve this part g equals to 1 to 5 so let's see this right so you see i have kept 30 as constant j varies from 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have just substituted the values this comes to this and by solving we get this equals to 450 450 so this is the double summation uh, way so things are becoming i think much more clearer the viewers can understand we are taking the innermost sum getting the value substituting with the outermost sum getting the value that's all done that's how we solve the problem so this is the third problem uh, this is a little bit uh, um, a little bit um, uh, expanded equation 2i plus 3j so we are taking again this as usual and we get this one i equals to 0 to 2 and i have taken 2i plus 3 so uh, i is varying from 0 j is varying from 0 1 2 3 so just substituted the values so we get how much uh, yeah so 8i plus 3 to 6 yeah 18 so 8i plus 18 is the uh, express is the value that we get for the innermost sum so we can write it in this way right so uh, okay i will show this first so this one equals to 8i plus 18 this is the way in which we can write now if i take the value of i and i value it value uh, I, I we change it so we get uh, keep 8 plus 18 as constant 0 1 and 2 because i varies from 1 to 2 just substitute the values compute done simple the value becomes equals to 78 so this is another uh, double summation problem so whatever in the bracket don't worry 2i plus 3g or whatever it goes on but just compute the innermost get the value substitute you're done so you can just take a snapshot of this screen if you want uh, for further references and this is how you can solve it so we come to triple summation in which we get three values right i j and k and let us see forward because once we are doing with double summation triple summation just an extension where we have got one more sigma so let's see how we can solve it out yeah. so triple summation this is the first problem so uh, just remember one thing while uh, computing with triple summation if you get the values as 3 i g and k obviously there would be 3 because this is a triple summation problem the right hand side expression should also have three values so three sigmas three variables on the right hand side i j and k three variables so first the formula is the same so nothing to get baffled or worried about all you need to do is this 
so we will take this value first and then come to this and come to this so innermost sum k equals to 0 to uh, varying up to 3 so you see what I have done I have kept i and j the value as constant now I have uh, put the value 0 2i plus 3j always remains the same so 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 so k varies from 0 to 3 the entire expression comes to this so if you solve it it will show 8i because there are 4 0 1 2 3 plus 12 j 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 18 so this is the value right so you can write it in this way uh, is equal to this so we are done with the innermost first innermost sum that is k now what we are going to do is that we are going to take this expression again and we are going to solve out this so k equals to 0 part is done now we are going to take forward g equals to 0 to 3 so we know the expression which is done from the previous phase 8i plus 12j plus 18 we are going to substitute as it is so nothing to worry about j is varying from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 so 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 and you substitute the value of 8i and to 18 as it is and change the value of j from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 solve it out so yeah I just showed this this is 8i and 18 so these two black arrows actually shows that from the previous page 8i plus 18 which is the total summation of the first innermost sum remains constant so it will be as it is just change the value increment the value of j solving it we get how much 4i's uh, 8 4's are 32 72 plus 72 comes to this 32i plus 144 now we are going to take forward this 32i plus 144 and we are going to solve uh, this part k is done right we have taken the value substituted in j j is done we have substituted now we are going to substitute the value in i equals to 0 to 2 so let us see how we can do 32i plus 144 is the expression we write 32 and 144 as it is how much the i is varying 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 solve it it gives to 528 very simple just cakewalk so this is a nice way in which you can understand just uh, keep the uh, other values constant go for the innermost sum then to the previous then to the previous until you are done with all the sigmas so this is the way in which you can write the entire part equals to 528 this is the answer for this triple summation problem so let us find out another problem in which I have uh, written a different expression i k plus j so nothing to worry about we will solve with this part k equals to 3 to 5 so you see I have just written i and j as constant so 3 i plus j 4 5 right so I have uh, substituted the value because k is varying from 3 to 5 so we get this so to, uh, 5 plus 4 9 yeah 12 i plus 3 j is the expression right now we are going to take this 12i plus 3j remember yeah here it is and we are to solve out this that is j equals to 0 to 2 so how to solve this simple we will keep it 12i 0 this will be 0 this will be 1 yeah this will be uh, 3 and yeah it's the same so 12i plus 3j 0 so it comes to 0 12i plus 3 1 so as it is and then it comes to 2 uh, 1 it would be uh, yeah 3 1s are 3 and then it goes to through 6 so we get the value as 36i plus 9 so this is the j equals to 0 to 2 take this value and uh, we write this one now we are substituting the value which will vary from 1 to 4 so take forward 36i plus 9 and put for your put this forward so you see simple so i is varying from 1 2 3 and 4 36 plus 9 remains constant i va varies from 1 2 3 4 compute this simple it's done it's 396 so this is the way in which we are for solving the triple summation first one we got the value second one 12i plus 3j third one 36i plus 9 substitute you get the result so you add it up all let us for look forward for another problem here i have just altered the <laughs> uh, this uh, sign so i made is i plus jk and we are first we will do with this one the innermost sum k equals to 0 to 2 right we find this so it varies from 0 to 1 to 2 we get the value as 3i plus 3j simple then we are going to forward uh, go forward with j equals to 3 to 4 right and here it is so it will be just 2 value 3 and 4 and we kept 3i plus 3j as constant 
times right so 3 to 4 what we get this one so done with the k equals to 0 to 2 done with j equals to 3 to 4 carry forward 6 i plus 21 to this one so we are going to find out the left that is the outermost sigma and here i will vary from 1 to 3 so let's see 6 plus 21 remains constant i is 1 and 2 and 3 what is the value simple 99 that's it so this is a nice way in which you can solve out yeah you can write it in this way or you can write in a bigger way this so this is a way in which we solve the double and the triple summation so i think things are quite clear uh, so for the double and the triple summation rules and steps remain the same only thing is that for double summation the it is a little bit easier because you have just got two sigmas and triple summation it can be three sigma it is three sigma you can further extend it to quadruple summation which i have not made it in this video if you want you can make it so the steps would be the same you will continue with the extreme right hand side summation that is the innermost sum get the value substitute in the next then to the next until on the left hand side you are not left with any more sigma so that's it i think we are done for this video where i explained about uh, a double and triple summation do subscribe like and please please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get all the updates from physics for students uh, although i am a little bit busy with making more videos on relativity especially general relativity topology i'm trying to start up with a new series on differential geometry but you can always put up your comments you can always put up your requests barring my busy schedule in my college and making other videos i will try to keep my promise as i did for this video i will always try to keep my promise and i will always try to make videos so that mathematics and physics becomes more important and interesting for you so i think that's all for today stay safe stay happy and staying happy nowadays is most important so that's all so have a nice weekend bye and stay safe